eyes are one of the most coveted makeup looks and one of the most intimidating to create, which is why today we have celebrity makeup artist Taylor Babayan here. She just published her second book, Stylize, which is gorgeous. Okay, so smoky eyes is one of those things that I found that a lot of people really want to do. And I found that one of the biggest mistakes that people make is actually putting too much color under the brow bone. When you're doing a smoky eye, you want to make sure that it's just pretty, soft, a little bit sultry, but it doesn't have to necessarily be dark. Well, I can't wait to see the finished look. Let's get started. The first step is actually choosing your base color. Okay. I always like to use three different colors. You're going to have a base color, you're going to have a highlight color, and you're going to have your contour color. Okay. So the base color can be whatever color you want it to be. It's going to be the color that you see the most of. It could be silver, it could be pink, it could be blue, it could be green. Okay. Contour colors are generally darker, or always darker actually for right. contour. Um, and they can be grays, darker versions of your base color. Um, and then your highlight color is a color that's actually your skin tone or lighter. So you mentioned that you have two techniques for creating a smoky eye. What's the difference between the two and how do we know which one we should use? I do two different techniques and there's layering and there's contouring. So the way that you do it when you actually have a very thin lid is to actually layer it. So the darkest color will actually be on the base. Okay. And what that does is it actually helps to open up the eyes and make the eyes appear to be bigger. Now, if you actually have um, a crease, you want the eyes to look a little bit more widespread, a little lifted, um, sultry, sexy. Right. You're gonna do a little bit of that contour just on the outside corners of the eyes. And what that does is it adds lift, it adds a little bit of sexiness. So after you choose your eyeshadow shades, what's the next step as far as application goes? When I do a smoky eye, it's always on uh, whatever color I put on top, I put on the bottom. Okay. Um, so you're gonna do your base color first on top, base color on the bottom, same color on the bottom. Then you're gonna do your contour color on top, contour color on the bottom. Um, and depending on what you want it to do, if you want it to be a little bit more sultry, you're gonna do it all the way across the bottom line. Okay. If you want it just on the outside corners, a little bit more natural, bring them out and up. That's how you're gonna apply the contour color. Okay. Um, and then you always wanna use like a highlight color. A okay. little sparkle, a little pretty. Okay. Um, and you, that you can actually use a little bit under the brow bone. Don't go too crazy. We don't want it to look all highlighted okay. underneath the brow. Um, and then I love to use a little bit of shimmer on the inner corners and actually that helps to brighten and open up the eyes. Okay. So after I do all the eyeshadow and I've gotten it cleaned up and it you know, looks good, um, I'm gonna put eyeliner. Um, and eyeliner actually helps to um, create the shape of the eye. So if you have a lot of fine lines, then you wanna make sure that you use a cream because with fine lines, the liner can skip. But for a smoky eye, I like to smudge liner. And what's gonna be an easier liner to smudge is gonna be a pencil and a little bit softer of a pencil. Okay. And then if you need to, you curl your lashes. Okay. If you have straight lashes that go straight down like I do, um, <laughs> then you curl them, make okay. them go up. So after you curl your lashes, you can wear a mascara base if you want to, and that'll help to thicken the lashes. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna do your mascara. So people do use a mascara base. Absolutely. It's, okay. you know, now it, I gotta tell you, back in the day, I did not like mascara bases. Today's mascara base is a lot better. Okay. A lot better. It'll actually help to thicken and hold the lashes. It's great. Okay. So mascara base, mascara. And are you done? Um, after I do the smoky eye, and I love it, um, I will go to brows. I make sure to do a more neutral eyebrow. I don't like to have dark eyebrows and dark eyes. It just looks kind of crazy. Um, so you just want to make sure that when you do your eyebrows, it looks finished and polished, but it just looks natural. Um, and after that, I actually like to do the foundation oftentimes. And reason being is that sometimes, especially if you're a novice, you're going to have some falling eyeshadow, you know, possibly mascara smearing, you know, you're practicing, you're trying. And when you do the foundation after, it's just gonna save you a lot of time and clean up. Taylor, Jenny's eyes look gorgeous. Thanks so much for showing us finally how to get a perfect, simple, smoky eye. It was my pleasure. For more tips, tricks, and beauty solutions, keep checking us out.